so now I'm going to uh, connect the my PC the EV2400 the employee the launchpad kit I connect it to my PC and there is a indication and on my PC you can see the EV2400 is detected and if I remove it is gone connecting now you can see the MSP tools driver and the EV2400 is detected so uh, it is possible if you go to the devices the weather device manager you can find the EV2400 here so if you go to the device manager on the port we can find the MSB uh, debug interface MSB application URT COM port 8 and the human interface device also you can find now uh, the chip I am going to use is the this one the BQ4050 uh, because the, the BQ studio has this chip so I thought this will be a great example to uh, choose the chip let's see uh, my EV2400 my launchpad kit detect this IC as default let's see this is a test chip actually I am using let's see if this time the BQ studio automatically detect the chip the BQ4050 let's see okay 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 here you can see this is detected let's choose it okay here is our values cycle count charging current charging voltage is there this should be detected automatically I don't know why it is not detected refresh the firmware section if you click on the firmware device not in ROM mode manually in the ROM mode before programming okay now we can choose the unseal here unseal and this will enter the unseal key let's unseal full access unseal in the full access mode now let's click on the this file now you can see the chip is entered into the boot ROM because why if you click on this button it is automatically entered into the boot mode and it will start to read the firmware from this chip so that is that's a great thing here actually I didn't expect this to work we have some another software also to test it out the firmware is uh, completed now click on the data you can see it is sealed now let's let's try again and seal and seal full access let's open the data read all now you can see the values are loaded settings protections there is a battery threshold the cutoff permanent fail advanced charge algorithm gas gauging power PF status system data SBS configuration LED support black box and lifetimes so everything is now we can access there is a shower node indication this chip also act, uh, support the shower node indication let's see click on the seal chip is sealed click on the shower uh, let's authenticate authentication was successful matches the okay now let's read the shower node indication is not giving the uh, chip to get into unseal mode you need to use the unseal and the unseal full access key to read let's read the header version device number 934 which is actually uh, 9000 it is basically firmware version firmware so everything is readable 